You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Now, we have some more important uh, issues at hand here, okay? And I'm serious, I'm not, I'm not preparing like a, a major meme or anything. I'm being serious here for a second. So first, I want to thank everybody for being here uh, on a Monday night, no less. Great turnout. And um, I, want to open, I want to open up by talking about uh, something that's very important. Uh, it's very important to me. It's very important to uh, a number of people on the channel, but in particular, one person. And the person I want to speak about is uh, Melissa Sue Platt. Now, Melissa Sue Platt is a, a young woman who, unfortunately, a couple of years back, uh, passed away due to uh, violence, uh, abuse violence. You know, she was she was abused by her boyfriend. And um, for those of you who are wondering who Melissa Sue Platt is, uh, she is the sister of Omni Blast. Now, many of you know who Omni Blast is. She's a regular here on the channel. She's been subscribed to the channel for a very long time. She's very active here in, uh, obviously, not only on the Nation Facebook page, not only on Discord, but also in chat and as well as the videos. And uh, I learned about this a long time ago. Uh, she told me what happened, and she's been really working hard uh, pushing, and I want to bring this up right now real quick. She's been wor working very hard pushing to get justice for her sister. Now, I don't want to get into too many details, you know, because there are much, there are YouTubers who are in particular kind of focused on this kind of topic. And four YouTubers have done uh, video cases on this story regarding Omni Blast's sister. And um, I'm going to share those videos, but one of them in particular, and I want to show this one right now because this is very important. Uh, one of them is Kendall Ray, and Kendall Ray has 2.25 million subscribers. Um, Omniblast has been busting tail her and her family on this case for many months now. This is not nothing. This is not anything new. Uh, we have spoken about this, and I, she's never asked me to do anything when she told me what she was doing. I told her, you know, I'd like to share this with your permission. I mean, I think even though this is not something my channel is focused on, I'd like to bring awareness to it and I want to share it with you guys in hopes that we can kind of continue to spread the word and get support for Omni and her family for justice for her sister. Now, not to get into too many details, but to give you an idea of some of the things her sister went through before her death, um, uh, traumatic head trauma, gunshot wound. Uh, I believe broken jaw, other damage that she received while being abused by her boyfriend, and he was never brought to justice. And uh, she has so far um, been raising, fundraising to get hire a private investigator to reopen the case. And um, everything that she has going on, this right here, of course, this is the Kendall Ray video that um, is linked in the description. The reason this video is very important that you guys watch this, not only to learn exactly all the details and to actually see um, Omni, Omni Blast's own testimony on this video, but Kendall Ray in this video expresses that anyone who watches this, the whatever monetization this video gains through viewership, she's gonna take the, the, the revenue from that monetization and donate it towards the uh, money to raise for an investigator for Omni and her family to, uh, to, um, to hire. So while there's four videos regarding this case, this is the one I think is the most important to watch. You know, right now it is at 928,000 views. I'd love to get that to a million. Even if all my subscribers watch this video, it's not going to bring it to a million, but you know what, whatever numbers we can get in there to add to this would be great. Um, there is a petition here. The link to this petition is in the description. If you want to show support, definitely go over, sign the petition. Again, it's in the description right now. I put it in there while the intro was going on. That's why I kind of started the intro, the, uh, the opening of the stream a couple of seconds later than normal. There is also a GoFundMe right now has currently raised uh, $11,000 for the investigator, but understand that this is just to hire the investigator there are still going to be fees and other coverage that the investigator is going to need to proceed with the investigation as it opens up as it goes through the process so you know again if you cannot 
donate to the GoFundMe. You can do it by watching the video. You can do it by signing the petition. Share that with family and friends, especially if you know somebody who was the victim of um, of abuse and, and bring it up to them, get them involved. Right now, the biggest thing is expansion of awareness. That is the number one thing right now that needs to generate for this case. All right. There's also a Facebook page. The link for this is also in the description of this live stream right now for Melissa. And you can go there and show your support. There's a Twitter when I did it ass backwards. Sorry. This is the Facebook page. All right. You can go there, follow, you know, show support, anything, even words of encouragement, you know, anything you can do. All right. It doesn't always have to be money. Just sharing and making awareness. That is so important. All right. This is her Twitter page. You can go follow that. Okay. Justice for Melissa at justice for M Platt on Twitter. And then finally, if you, if you want to buy merchandise to show support, she does have a Teespring shop. Now, Omni did tell me that uh, sometime later this week, this is going to update with new merchandise. Some people are a little bit weary about wearing merchandise that has the face of the person on it. Completely understandable. But at least bookmark it, come back later in the week, and, you might, and you'll find other merchandise on that that's not necessarily going to have her sister's face on it. So there are many different resources, many different ways you can support this movement for justice for one of our very own. And I'm doing this because one thing I love about my channel is that it, it, it seems to be very close niche people. We have a very, very, you know, a lot of people are, are it's, it's overall a good community. And, you know, this is not the first time I've helped out one of my subscribers before. This certainly won't be the last, but I felt like this particular case is the most important one because it has to do with bringing justice to someone whose life was taken way, way too early and and did not get a second thought from authorities at the time it happened and and that needs to change that that's unacceptable so you have the link for the merchandise store okay in the description the facebook page the twitter page the gofundme as well as the petition and uh kendall ray's video where you can also watch omni give her very own testimony as to what happened to her sister and also by watching this video, you're actually passively donating to the cause. So even if you can't give money on the GoFundMe or any other way, you can still actually donate to the cause by just watching the video. I mean, there's, there's no better way to, to help, 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 you know, help things out. So um, Daniel Halan has also done a video regarding the case. You can go to her channel and watch that. And these, these other videos and other links will be in the description of this final video when I put it up on the channel. And also um, Molly Westbrook did a video on the case and also uh, Georgia Marie did a video on the case as well. So there are many different resources available for you guys to go out there and learn about what happened to one of our very own family member's sister and do what you can to, to take care of one of our own, get out there, get the word spread, get the word heard. If you can find it, in your heart to be generous enough to donate then do so but even if you can't as i said by watching that one video by kendall ray you are passively donating to the hiring and continued work of an investigator that they're going to hire uh last thing i already spoke to omni about this um we i am going to do a fundraiser stream for her sister in the coming weeks me and omni have to talk and work out the details but it's going to be a fun stream okay it, it's going to be me i'm going to put myself out there and do some crazy stuff and we're going to have donation thresholds for me to do crazy stuff and we're going to have a goal to reach a certain amount of money by the end of the night so we can take that and go straight into the uh investigation uh, or hiring a private investigator for omni and her family so we can do our best to take care of them so um you know, just be aware of that. So um, that's it. And this this portion of the stream will be up on the channel for people to come back and refresh. And I'll have the link for everything you could possibly need in terms of a knowledge about this case, as well as how you can help will also be in that video, guys. So I want to thank you for taking the time to listen uh, to this portion of the stream. And I appreciate those of you uh, in advance for helping out. And um and yeah, and Omni, I want you to know, I, I know myself, everybody here on ETN 
wish the best for the pending investigation. We're all praying for you. And I feel 100% confident that you will get the justice your sister deserves. And uh, please, please keep me and the nation posted on everything that's going on regarding that and any other things we can do to help. All right, please, let's end this with, I want spammed hearts in chat for Omni. All right, let's go. Spammed hearts in chat for Omni. All right, good things, guys.